Hey, it's Dave Morris with News OK, and I'm joined by the Oklahoman's food editor, Dave Cathy. Dave, thanks for your time today. You may know him as the food dude. Today we're talking about Top Chef Masters, which is uh, one of the reality programs on Bravo. I'm a big fan. I know you are as well. Huge, yes. Hit us with the quick concept of what Top Chef Masters is. Top Chef Masters takes uh, rather than up-and-coming chefs looking to start their first restaurant, you've got guys who are very well established, uh, guys you know, uh, men and women uh, who have years of experience in the restaurant business, their own restaurants, in many cases their own TV shows, uh, so it's the best of the best. Including, uh, and one of the reasons we care about this uh, specifically, is Rick Bayless. Tell That's us right. about his local connections. Yeah, Rick was born here in Oklahoma City, uh, went to Northwest Class in high school, uh, went to OU, went to OCU, uh, interesting guy. His family owned a barbecue place here called Hickory House. Uh, he took over the catering business when he was a teenager and uh, ran that as a teenager uh, and graduated in high school in three years before going to OU and then now he's this well-known chef all over the world. He, Mexico is his specialty. Yeah, it seems like he really does have that Mexican flair yeah. towards his food and I guess he's big in Chicago as well. Yes, that's right. Uh, Frontera Grill and Topla Bombo, I believe is the name of the other one. Uh, yeah, Rick was an, an initially an anthropology major and uh, but had a real interest in Mexico, and when he was down there doing uh, research for his uh, dissertation, just fell in love with it, the food, and said, you know, I think it's time to cook. Comes across as a pretty good guy on this. This is, <laughs> is, this is kind of a round robin type show, so he's been on a few of the episodes. Oh yeah, and every time, yeah. He won, uh, to get to this point, he had to win uh, against three other chefs, and he, and he did that. And every time, he seems to be the guy that everybody loves. Uh, in fact, going into the finale, he's finished second in all three of the big elimination challenges. So, so he's never been close to being eliminated so I think far. he's been second. Last night he was second to mm -hmm. uh, Hubert, is that right? Yeah, Keller? Hu Hubert Keller, yes. Who That's also right. comes across as a pretty good yeah, guy. Yeah, and he's a classic, you know, he's, he's a very French, he's a Frenchman's Frenchman. Uh, you know, he's an unbelievable chef. Uh, he's probably, if, if it were in Vegas, he would probably be the favorite because he is still very involved in his kitchen. As opposed to Michael, uh, if I say this right, Chiarello, <laughs> who I said looks like the John Leo cat from, uh, yes. from Night Court fame. Yes. But he kind of got into it last <laughs> night with uh, Dale. <laughs> with Dale, yeah. Dale, who I, I think it was season three, it might have been season four, he was on. Uh, he was a very hot tempered guy, anyways. And yeah, they really got into it it's last night. It's like they're night. battling for street cred. Or yeah, something. yeah. I thought that, that uh, frying pans were going across faces at any time. <laughs> well, let's get back to Rick Bayless. Uh, you. Uh, you talk with a lot of local mm -hmm. chefs and local restaurants. Mm -hmm. Is there any buzz? Oh yeah. Do they say anything about Rick Bayless? Yeah. Do they even watch these shows? Oh, very much so. Uh, Rick is an icon locally. I mean, he is nationally, but there's a lot of pride in Oklahoma, as you know. You know, everything, anything that comes out of Oklahoma to other Oklahomans is the greatest thing ever. And so Rick is no different. Uh, every chef that I know thinks he's great. They consider his restaurant one of the best in the world. Uh, so they're definitely pulling for him. Uh, so much that uh, uh, Ryan Parrott, uh, the chef and owner over at uh, Iguana Mexican Grill, is hosting a party, a finale party, and uh, I've, uh, we've got all, he's got all kinds of things lined up. Uh, he's going to be making the lingua tacos, that, uh, which is tongue, so <laughs> beware, but it was mixed with bacon and chorizo. Nice. And bacon makes everything Yeah, that's better. right. And I'll tell you this, I've, I've had the tongue tacos over there before, and they're delicious, so... Uh, it's great. He's also, uh, he's got some other specials lined up and we'll have more information. We'll try and get Ryan in uh, before the event and, and so we'll have a little bit more detail on that. Season finale of Top Chef Masters is uh, Wednesday, August 19th on Bravo, I believe 9 p.m. It's 9.15 and, and, and this week, what's uh, interesting- Throwing me a curveball. That's right. Uh, what it is, is they're premiering the next season of Top Chef of right course. before. So it works out real nice uh, for the event on Wednesday anyways. Those well, crafty programs. <laughs> they, you know, they get paid well, so. <laughs> All right, be sure to follow more of Dave Cathy uh, every Wednesday in the uh, food section of the Oklahoma and of course, pretty much every day on his blog, Food That's Dude's right. blog. You can also follow him on Twitter. That's right. And uh, uh, you never know, you may look over the menu someday and hey, there's Dave Cathy over in the corner. <laughs> testing out that local cuisine. Dave, thanks for your time. Too. You have it.